As of August 20th, 2023, there are currently 44 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Italy's Mount Etna volcano, which erupted anew on August 13th. As eruptive intensity rapidly intensified from its southeast crater, towering lava fountains were generated which reached heights of up to 400 meters or 1300 feet that subsequently fell back to the ground. Due to the ash emissions this Strombolian activity generated, flights were temporarily grounded at the Catania airport on the island of Sicily. Flights subsequently resumed as lava fountaining seemingly ceased although temporary lesser ash emissions are still occasionally occurring. The towering lava fountains which occurred represented what is known as a paroxysm, aka a short yet violent burst of activity which are common at this stratovolcano. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano related news stories. In Iceland, the nation's largest caldera which tens of thousands of years ago produced a 30 km long pyroclastic flow has been found to be the site of a magmatic intrusion which has been ongoing since June of 2023. To the north, also in Iceland, an unusual sulfur smell was detected alongside an increased temperature of the Askia volcano's VT crater. And in Italy, an earthquake storm occurred to the west of Naples at a volcanic complex some considered to be a supervolcano, Campi Flegre. For context, Campi Flegre last erupted in 1538 and consists of two large calderas. One of these calderas measures 12.6 km wide and formed 14,900 years ago, while the larger 14 km wide caldera formed 39,850 years ago. This volcano is well known among geologists for producing some of the most extreme uplift and subsidence cycles on the planet, where in historical times areas of it may have risen and fallen by as much as 100 feet. This has all occurred due to the movement of magma in its underlying vast magma chamber. Since 2011, a magmatic intrusion at a depth of approximately 3 kilometers has pushed up the ground underlying the Pozzoli site by 85 centimeters or 33 inches. This activity has caused numerous adjacent fault lines to move, generating groups of earthquake swarms primarily due to the movement of heated hydrothermal fluids. One such earthquake swarm began at 4.10 a.m. local time on August 18, 2023, where in the next 12 hours, 120 earthquakes occurred, the largest of which was a magnitude 3.6. This earthquake swarm luckily is not worrying, as a swarm of this intensity seemingly occurs at Campi Flegri once every 2-3 to three months. Thus, Campi Flegri, in my opinion, shows no warning signs of an imminent eruption. Meanwhile, in Iceland, several unusual phenomena have been observed at the Askia volcano. While Askia has not erupted since 1961, it has been the site of an ongoing magmatic intrusion since August of 2021, which in the 24 months since has pushed upwards the central section of its largest caldera by a little over half a meter. While there are no confirmed signs that this intrusion, likely still stalled at 2 km depth and containing 24 million cubic meters of magma, has advanced any further, multiple reports were made regarding the VT Mar explosion crater on the 1875 caldera's northeast section. It was first reported that there was a potential hydrothermal explosion, but no evidence of this was found. Then, a strong sulfur smell was detected, but later investigations found nothing truly noteworthy. The third report was the only one which was later substantiated as the VT crater for a brief time appeared to have produced a column of steam which is unusual and the water within this crater has increased from 18 to 27 degrees Celsius in the last few months. While magma is still far away from the surface, in my opinion, there is an increased risk of a phreatic eruption occurring if VT's temperatures continue to rise, possibly at or near this crater. Also in Iceland, magmatic uplift was detected at the Torfajoko volcano, which primarily erupts rhyolite, including some geologically recent obsidian lava flows, and last erupted in 1477. This uplift is occurring in fairly close proximity to its 7000 BCE lava flow and has a probable rhyolitic composition. While this uplift is less than that of Askia, only being a maximum of 4 cm a year, it has been ongoing since June of 2023 and resulted in an increased level of earthquakes within Torfajoko's caldera. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on August 19th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron, World Traveler, for supporting this channel.